number the wires and you do it one wire at a time. The common is the most common reason your panel doesn't work. You don't just fit parts into a panel where they'll fit. You try to look at the wiring. So if the outputs are on top, I tend to put the PLC at the bottom of the panel. It's an interactive process. This control panel came out of the Wayback Machine. It was built right about 20 years ago. It's kind of an illustration of how tight the panel can, can be. If you notice here, in order for the wiring to get from one level to the other, it had to go under the PLC. And so uh, there's no vertical wireways for wires, there's just the horizontal. And if you notice, there's uh, no wire markers on a bunch of the wires. And the reason is, is if I recall correctly, is <laughs> tried using a P-touch to label wires. And uh, what turns out was that the P-touch adhesives sticks to other things, but it doesn't stick to itself very well. We had all these labels on there and we came in the next day and they were all like laying on the floor. They, they just popped off. And so uh, there is labeling on the, the, the terminal strips and there's labeling up in the back here uh, and so forth. But this is a tight panel and there was a larger piece of equipment down here that uh, was taken out. But uh, so this ran a, a, a robot watering machine and uh, it has a, a, a PLC with quite a few IO modules and it has a DC motor controller. Um, and in order to keep the heat out of the box, we actually <coughs> cut through the box and put a heat sink on the outside so it's not in the box. And there's a battery that ran uh, eight salt, uh, motor actuated valves and then the power supply charged the battery and uh, some fusing. And uh, in fact, there's a row of Zener diodes that were done to slow down the valves. They were too fast. When the valves opened and closed, things slammed. So we reduced the voltage to the valves and got that to work. So the issue with building panels is they're almost always too small. <laughs> and the, the big reason is, is that uh, everybody tries to do things in parallel. They try to build the, uh, build the machine, build the box, and do the wiring, kind of three separate people doing all three things. And so what happens is somebody says, oh, we got to choose the box. We got, you know, and, and what, what determines the size of the box? Well, pretty much it comes down to the space you have available for it on the machine you're building. And in the case of this machine, this box was, was on a, a, a part of the robot that went out into the greenhouse hanging from a set of rails and it couldn't go any lower, it couldn't go any wider. This was it, that was the space we had. So we had to figure out how to make the controls fit in the space. And uh, unfortunately, that happens way too often. So uh, the only way to stop that from happening is to get as close as possible to the finished uh, assortment of components that you have to put in. And what's really tough is figuring out how big the wires themselves are. Because you have wireways, and you'll notice here that I have bundles of wires up here. Well, in, in the case of this panel, all the wiring went out the top, and, and that was because I couldn't hang anything below it. And uh, there's a lot of cables, but they don't go anywhere inside the panel. And uh, frequently you'll see, due to the layout of a panel, a lot of the cables have to travel through the wireways in the panel. And uh, this has a fair amount of cables on top. You can see I trimmed them all off, but there's uh, about 15 cables coming out the top. So, and, and cables make it really tough because you, you have to think in your head, well, how big does a wireway have to be to hold all those cables? And of course, that has a big effect on how uh, well your, your panel's going to wind up. Um, I was at a job where the wireways were six inches square and uh, they had never put the covers on because there was three inches of wire on the outside of a six inch wireway. You know, they had, the panel designer had grossly underestimated how, how much wire was going to get stuffed in those wireways. And that's a real, real common problem.